Hope. It's a good question. Um, mm. I've never quite thought about a definition for hope. So it's gonna take a second to. Mm. To me, hope is. An imagination for a better future. لازم نسعي عشان نحقق أحلامنا وإنجازاتنا. الأمل هو الدافع الأساسي للحياة. C'est chaque signe de progrès, chaque indice de progrès. Leaving something for our children after we leave. Oh, you 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 do things for I know people things. D'écouter, de créer et de transformer. Et l'idée que tout est abbiano una vita davanti, una vita degna, una vita piena, una vita felice. Hope is very human and hope springs eternal. You know, paradoxically, I think you find hope when you go into the darkest places. You need to have some sort of hope, and that's the only thing that's going to keep you going forward, keep you moving. Senza quella non c'è niente, c'è molto assoluto. Talk to people. Go outside, let the sun touch your face or something. You can talk to them and um, figure out what's going wrong, and figure you out how you can solve it. Tools, I guess. Family, social interaction, everything matters a lot. If people is in a community, uh, there is always hope. Oh, you, you can make a friend! We have responsibility to look out for others. We are people for people. If you're small or small, if you're a small family or a small family, it helps others. Seeing a, a supportive community, taking uh, our role in making this place a better place. Every time you have hope and hope, every time you have the goal to achieve your goals with your goals. To the future, to the future. The need for change. That, that sounds about right the need for change. Hope can be the need for change. I don't think I could put it any better. <laughs> Your Highness, Your Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, esteemed guests, Thank you so much for joining us here this evening and welcome to the Zayed Award for Human Fraternity 2023 Ceremony. My name is Nofil Kithiri, your host for this evening, and we are here to honor inspiring people who have spent their lives advocating for human fraternity in their communities and across the world. It's been four years since this Global Humanitarian Award was launched. This award that was named after the visionary founder of the UAE, the late Sheikh Zayed bin Sultan Al Nahyan, on whose memorial garden we now gather. The award was inspired by a historic meeting of His Holiness Pope Francis and His Eminence, the Grand Imam of Al Azhar, Professor Ahmed Al Tayyib. On February the 4th, 2019, these two great leaders signed the document on human fraternity in Abu Dhabi. Under the patronage of His Highness, Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan, President of the United Arab Emirates. Inspired by the signing of the document, the United Nations declared the 4th of February as an international day of human fraternity. And today, on this special day, we come together to help advance the aspirations of the document. Ayuhal Mahmumuna bi Masir al Insaniyati wal Bahituna an Salam. Assalamu alaikum jamian wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu wa bad. Fa inani id ushariku al alam. بالاحتفال باليوم الدولي للأخوة الإنسانية وبمزيد من الأمل والتفاؤل بغد أفضل للجميع فإنني أبدأ بالترحيب والتقدير للشركاء المخلصين لمسيرة الأخوة الإنسانية البابا فرانسيس باب الكنيسة الكاثوليكية وصاحب السمو الشيخ محمد بن زايد آل نهيان رئيس دولة الإمارات العربية المتحدة راعي الأخوة الإنسانية وحامل رايتها 
Saludo con afecto, estima el gran imán Ahmed al tayeb con el cual exactamente cuatro años fa, a Abu Dhabi ha firmado el documento sobre la fratellanza humana por la paz mundial y la convivencia común. Ingreso su Alteza Rosei como Mohamed Bin Zayed por su empeño a favor del camino de la fratellanza. El Alto Comitato por la fratellanza humana por la iniciativa promosa en varias partes del mundo. Y también ringrazio la Asamblea General de las Naciones Unidas porque con la resolución del diciembre de 2020 ha establecido el 4 de febrero como Jornada Internacional de la Fratellanza Humana. Soy inoltre lieto de asociarme a la dodevole iniciativa de la asignación del Premio Sayed para la Fratellanza Humana 2023. <tose> لا شك أن مسيرة الأخوة الإنسانية مليئة بالتحديات والصعاب ولكن النوايا الصالحة والعمل الجاد الذي تجسده اليوم جائزة زايد للأخوة الإنسانية يمثل بارقة أمل ومصدر تشجيع لكل محب الخير والسلام Ringrazio tutti coloro che si uniranno al nostro cammino di fratellanza e l'incoraggio a impegnarsi per la causa della pace e per rispondere ai problemi e ai bisogni concreti degli ultimi, dei poveri, degli indefesi, di coloro che hanno bisogno del nostro aiuto. E in questa direzione va il premio Sayed per la fratellanza umana. E ho voluto in questo momento che mi ringrazio a tutti i miei amici per il lavoro di questa giornata تنضم إلى مسيرة الأخوة الإنسانية وتدعم جهودهم للاستمرار في تخفيف معاناة الضعفاء والمظلومين والفقراء من أجل عيش أكثر سلاما وعدلا وإخاء شكرا لكم والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Your Eminence and Your Holiness, thank you for your reminder on the importance of unity. As we strive toward these shared humanitarian values, let's reflect on the events of 2022, a year that needed us to stand up more than ever and make a difference. While the world was in conflict, there were those who took a positive role in these times of need and gave us all a gift the gift of hope. Hope to believe, hope to dream, hope that things would and could get better. And to remind us all of the importance of unity and hope in all our lives, a group of performing artists from around the world collaborated to deliver a message of hope. place where your voice lives, residing within reach, where it resounds with purpose and resilience. Intangible, yes, but not impossible if made attainable only by understanding and compassion. Hope is knowing that from stillness and silence we can create symphony. Hope to me is endless gratitude for both the lightning and the storm in the dark. It is seeing Najm Sahel at the end of a long summer telling us that something incredible is on the horizon. To me, hope. Hope is the real life part of me. At my worst, at my best, hope is always with me. At my worst, hope makes me feel like best times are coming and at my best, I feel blessed. Hope is in my heart, beside all the hard times that I pass through, I believe that my future is bright. Hope is like doing exercise in the gym, a pain maker believe in gain. <laughs> Haven't told you something. 
do know that you plus hope make her believe. I've been told you something that you plus hope make her you can. I've been told you something that you plus hope make her you will. I've been told you something that you plus hope make her dream. And dreams are valid. Dreams and imagination flickering at first, then sparking ideas illuminating the entire skyline beyond what we ever thought was possible, a spectacle of light, inspiration echoing like the most hopeful chorus. Amal is the paper saying to the poet through wazin and qafia, you need not be afraid, this poem can still be written. Hope is to imagine the night and stars saying, this is your sky. What a moving performance that truly conveyed the harmony of human fraternity. And it is that sense of unity, of making a difference, that is so intrinsic to the Zayed Award for Human Fraternity. It's the reason why we recognize outstanding people and organizations each year, whose work changes lives and inspires hope. Join us as we hear from some of those whose lives have been impacted by the work of honorees recognized by the Zayed Award for Human Fraternity over the past four years. In 2023, let's put peace at the heart of our words and actions. Let's talk about the displaced individual that reached up to 103 million. The sad reality is the funding doesn't match the needs. Antonio Guterres donated back his award to the UNHCR. That means UNHCR can use it anytime, anywhere, whenever a crisis occurs. That's the biggest impact that the Zayed Award had. Grâce à ce prix Zayed qui m'a beaucoup aidé, et je suis en train de, de faire un centre éducatif, un centre social qui va s'appeler Daraïmed. Normalement, le centre il va tourner sur 1000 élèves, par aussi des jeunes qui ont quitté l'école. Je dis aux jeunes, démarre ton moteur jeune homme. Si tu ne démarres pas, il n'y a personne qui démarre à votre place. هذه الجائزة تحمل قيم إنسانية كبيرة أن نطمح لواقع جديد فيه السلام والأمان هما الغاية والوسيلة لبناء مستقبل ينتهي فيه الظلم
والحرمان Recevoir ce prix à ce moment, j'avoue que nous en sommes encore très reconnaissants. Ce prix nous a permis de renforcer ce que nous faisons déjà. Il nous a beaucoup motivés. Ça nous a donné de l'énergie pour aller de l'avant. On a pu continuer à assister et travailler avec les associations du quartier. Et avec des organisations paysannes qui produisent dans ce pays, avec des artistes qui créent dans ce pays. J'ai rapporté aussi des graines de gaffe de cette aventure incroyable que nous avons vécue là-bas. Lorsque Lorraine et moi avons vu ces arbres, Haïti peut-être pourra encore montrer au monde ce dont nous sommes capables de faire. It is so touching to see the impact that our honorees have made. The influx of nominations received each year shows us the diversity of individuals and organizations that are striving to make a real difference in our world, which makes it increasingly difficult to select the most deserving honorees. Each year, we have an independent panel of diverse and distinguished public figures to select the honorees. Each member is an accomplished expert in their own field. My name is Kailash Satyarthi. We did Bushamiri. I'm Angel Moratinos. Mohammed Abdel Salam. Sepsi Campbell. Luis Antonio Gokim Tagbe. I'm privileged and honored to be part of this uh, important uh, jury. Of this community of human fraternity. This award is the most urgent and most needed award. It is not exclusively on peace. It is not exclusively on human rights. It combines everything. To put that ideas in, in real actions. We open also the world of these persons and organizations to a wider audience. Their common commitment leading to action, even if not seen by the world. They want to change the world in a better way. They are full with compassion, courage, conviction. All the nominees are incredible people or organization, but who could help us to promote human fraternity as a new ideology for the world. Based on the criteria and the needs for this year and the nominees for this year, then we have to choose. Each one of had independent views. We came with open hearts. So that shows the association for one cause, and the cause is human fraternity. And I think that is what uh, the Pope and Granny Imam are trying to do. حين يكون لديك نماذج مشرقة من هذا النوع أعتقد أنه ينبغي أن يسلط الضوء عليها The award winners come from one country or two countries, three countries but the message of human fraternity would be spread through this award across the globe and that is very much needed When we identify people and recognize them for what they have been doing then we are declaring to the world human fraternity is real it is not just an idea. It is real. I would like to invite to the stage Judge Muhammad Abdis Salam, Secretary General of Zaid Award for Human Fraternity and Secretary General of the Muslim Council of Elders, His Excellency, Mr. Miguel Angel Moratinos, 
United Nations Under Secretary General and High Representative for the United Nations Alliance of Civilizations, and Dr. Widad Bushamawi, 2015 Nobel Peace Laureate and Entrepreneur, and to introduce the first recipient of the 2023 Zaid Award for Human Fraternity and to tell us more about their decision process. Assalamu alaikum jamiyan. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahman ar-Rahman. Before four years, the year of Ramadan was given under the guidance of the Sumo Sheikh Muhammad bin Zayed Al Nahyan, the leader of the human being, and as the Imam Hamil of its leader, the Muslim. The Lord Francis and the Imam of the Great Ahmed Al Tayyib here in the report of the Muasses. لإطلاق وثيقة الأخوة الإنسانية من أبو ظبي إلى العالم لتكون بمثابة إعلان تضامن مع الأشخاص الأكثر ضعفا وتهميشا تماما كما وقف البابا والإمام الأكبر هنا في هذا المكان قبل أربع سنوات تحت هذا الصرح الذي يخلد اسم الراحل الحكيم الشيخ زايد بن سلطان آل نهيان مؤسس هذه الدولة المباركة وناشر الخير في كل مكان نقف نحن الآن تحت هذا الصرح لتكريم الأشخاص الذين وضعوا مبادئ الأخوة الإنسانية هذه الوثيقة التاريخية موضع التنفيذ لنكرم الفائزين بجائزة زايد للأخوة الإنسانية لعام 2023 واسمحوا لي أن أحيي سمو الشيخ عبد الله بن زايد آل نهيان الذي طالما مثل الصوت القوي لصاحب السمو أخيه الحكيم الشيخ محمد بن زايد آل نهيان في دعم كل مبادرات السلام والأخوة والتعايش التي تلهم الكثيرين حول العالم شكرا جزيلا لدعمكم سمو الشيخ وأود أن أقول للعالم إن ما يحدث هنا هو بناء جديد تستكمل به مسيرة الأخوة والسلام فجائزة زايد لم تعد مبادرة أو مشروع أو مجرد جائزة جائزة زايد أصبحت عائلة لكل الإنسانية لكل صانع الأمل والخير وأخيرا اسمحوا لي باسم الجائزة الكريمة أن نرحب بانضمامكم سانتي جيديو وماما شمسة لعائلة زايد للأخوة الإنسانية شكرا As the 2023rd Judging Committee we study each nomination thoroughly keeping in mind the values embedded in the document of human fraternity. As a judging committee, it was clear to us that community of Sant'Egidio has gone above and beyond to respond to this command to help those most in need. Saadat Jamaat Sant'Egidio, al-Lajiin, wal-Muhajirin, wal-Atfal, wa kibar al-Sin, wal-Fuqara, wal-Abriya, العالقين وسط نيران النزاعات في مختلف بقاع العالم نيابة عن لجنة التحكيم لعام 2023 نود أن نعرب عن امتدان العميق لجماعة سانتيجيديو لأنها أثبتت كيف يمكن لأشخاص عاديين دعم وتغيير حياة ضحايا النزاعات شكرا لكم على اطلاع العالم على كيفية إحداث فرق وكيفية محبة جيراننا القريبين والبعيدين شكرا جزيلا الموندو è troppo diviso abbiamo un mondo globale ma parcellizzato anzi conflittuale la fraternità la fraternità tra uomini e donne la fraternità tra i popoli dobbiamo cioè ricostruire una tela che è stracciata Dobbiamo rammendare questa tela stracciata tra i popoli, tra gli esseri umani. La comunità di Sant'Egidio è nata nel 68 a Roma e potremmo dire, come ha affermato Papa Francesco, la comunità di Sant'Egidio ha tre pilastri, preghiera, poveri e pace. Il mondo ha bisogno di amore. Sant'Egidio è al servizio 
dell'unità nella diversità che si costruisce con il dialogo, perché dialogo e amore sono la stessa cosa. Le sfide più difficili che ho affrontato sono state quelle della guerra. Noi abbiamo conosciuto paesi in guerra con tante sofferenze. La pace in Mozambico nel 1992, dopo due anni di trattative proprio qui a Sant'Egidio, un paese che aveva sofferto una guerra terribile, una guerra di un che ha fatto un milione di morti. Scuola, penso ai bambini profughi soprattutto, a quelli che vivono nei campi profughi, ai bambini che non hanno la possibilità di studiare. Questo credo sia ai, ai bambini che non esistono, che non sono registrati allo Stato civile, ecco. Per tutti loro io credo che la comunità di Sant'Egidio c'è e vuole trovargli un posto. Nella, nel percorso uh, che vivo nella comunità di Sant'Egidio ehm, le sfide più difficili che mi sono trovata ad affrontare pensando anche al mondo dei senza dimora sono quelle di mh, fermarmi in ascolto di persone che non hanno nulla. Ho conosciuto la comunità nell'anno 2000 perché vivendo per strada veniva una persona volontario della comunità a portare la, la cena alle persone che erano fuori strada. C'è bisogno di un'organizzazione veramente che disinteressatamente faccia tanto per la, per la comunità. Il valore della comunità di San Diego è enorme perché i campi in cui svolge il, il proprio servizio di volontà è, è, sono tantissimi. In futuro spero di realizzare con la comunità di Sant'Egidio di poter raggiungere un maggior numero di persone in difficoltà, persone che oggi non hanno speranza, che sono sole e che non vedono un futuro per la loro vita. Bisogna ricomporre un'umanità divisa in nazioni, in gruppi religiosi ostili, in gruppi finanziari che sfruttano i più poveri, ricomporre tutto questo nella fraternità. Ci sentiamo uniti da un grande scopo, che è quello di cambiare il mondo in meglio. E questo scopo io credo sia anche molto importante per tutta la società, perché la nostra comunità vive nella storia, non fuori dalla storia. Congratulations to the community of Santi Gidio. Before we ask them to join us to the stage, there is someone here that has a very special story to tell us. Mrs. Zainab Ahmed Dilal, please join us on the stage. Ashab al Sumur, wal Mu'ali, al Diyuf al Kiram. Ismi Zainab, wana Somaliyat al. I want to tell you that there is too much violence in our world today. I too experienced it when I had to leave many years ago from Somalia at the war that denied us any future or hope. In Italy, I a young Muslim, thanks to the community of Sant'Egidio and Christian community, was welcomed and integrated. I was able to study and find a job and start in the family. But above all, my heart is opened. I thought that the difference between religion and culture was any episode that could not be overcame, but I was saved by those I didn't know. From then on, I too began to welcome and help those fleeing from another world. I received hope as a gift and gave back it. It is at the what human fraternity is all about, and this special prize make me happy today. 
It is all message of bees, as precious as the air we breathe. It saved me, it can save everyone. Shukran Jasiran. Welcome on the stage, the community of Sant'Egidio. Your Highnesses, Your Excellencies, Honored Guests, Ladies and Gentlemen. On behalf of the community of Sant'Egidio, I would like to thank you all, and especially the Higher Committee of Human Fraternity and the Judging Committee of Zayed Award for Human Fraternity for Honoring, uh, honoring us with this award that encourages us in our commitment to fraternity, peace, and service to the poorest in the world. The values and principles of human fraternity bring us together today. Those same values, compassion, tolerance and innovation guided Sheikh Zayed to whose legacy the institution of Human Fraternity Foundation is linked. The land we are in on February 2019 saw one of the greatest events of dialogue, meetings and fraternity among religions with the signing of the historic document of human fraternity by Pope Francis and the Grand Imam Ahmed al Tayeb, which we all feel responsible to fearful today. The community of Sant'Egidio that I re represent here believes that dialogue between religions is the path to fraternity. Religions, in their millennial wisdom, polished by prayer and contact with human suffering, are laboratories of humanity. They are living organisms. They gather and listen to desires of men and women. They are not ideologies, but communities rooted in the land, close to the pain, joy, and sweat of people. The prayer of so many who suffer from war, of those who live in place of pain or face terrible journeys like the refugees, calls us to build fraternity and peace to alleviate suffering and prepare a better world. This world calls us once again not only to look at past history, but to work with even greater commitment to a future in which human fraternity is finally established everywhere. Thank you. Shukran. And now, I'd like to invite His Eminence, Cardinal Miguel Angel Ayoso, co-president of the Higher Committee of Human Fraternity, who is representing His Eminence. Cardinal Luis Antonio Tagle, pro-prefect of the Dicastri for Evangelization. Dr. Epsi Campbell Barr, former vice president of the Republic of Costa Rica. And Mr. Kailash Satyarthi, 2014 Nobel Peace Laureate and child rights activist to join me on stage and tell us more about the journey to selecting our second awardee of the night.
this year's jury poured over hundreds of nominations to find those who embody the values of human fraternity in addition to the community of Sant'Egidio, they chose a woman who has taken seriously and personally the document on human fraternity called to protect the dignity of young people. She is a true builder, the builder of peace, of community, of solidarity. With her help, youth, young people have turned away from violence, extremism, crime, and drugs. She has transformed the lives of so many young people, men and women. All this could only be triggered by her inner spark of compassion. Mama Shamsa, your work has embodied the values of human fraternity. You are an example of how women participation and leadership in our society is not only a blessing of to, to all us, but it's a crucial necessity. Your compassion and your love inspire us to build a new world. On behalf of the 2023 Sayera War for Human Fraternity, Jashen Committee. Congratulations, Mama Shamza. I remember I was sleeping, I had gunshots, and then we had a scream. A neighbor who lives in the third house sends me a message. Mama Shamza Ibra has been killed. Imagine seeing a 14-year-old boy lying in a pool of blood. That child should be in school. That child is a society's responsibility. I decided to visit my county commission, and he told me there are 124 on the shoot to kill order. Please don't kill them. Give me a chance. These boys can change. The area I come from was the most notorious area in the map of Kenya. 98% of nearly is slums, it's hoodlums. The income here is less than a dollar a day. That's why we have a lot of criminal activities going on. This is something we have created for ourselves. It has come to our disadvantage by not believing in community service. People know me as Mama Shamsa, as I found out a lot of youths needed a mother figure in their lives. Tina is a very good friend of my niece. Whenever, as a mother, when they come in from school, I could notice Tina was not free as she should be. I suspected something was not right. My biological mother didn't take care of me. She didn't love me. She even used to tell me that I am a bad luck to her. There was my stepdad. He was holding a knife at my stomach. He stabbed me. Mama Shamsa took me to the hospital for the wounds. When I was with Mama Shamsa, I felt safe. Mama Shamsa is golden hearted because having to receive children, taking care of them like her own, mentoring them and showing them the way. I took her to so many sessions of trauma healing and trauma counseling. We noticed that she was very good in talking. Because she is a culprit, she knows exactly what to look out for. And with the training, we've mentored her. She told me, now, mom, I want to be a human rights defender. In terrorism, somebody starts from somewhere. These are the children we are trying to do prevention. We sit together and talk to the youth because there is no employment and we look for alternative living skills for them. Abbas was the leader of the criminal gangs in Nyale sub-county. People used to fear. Now he sits with boys and talks to them. 
kwenda kinywani na pia ningependa kuambia jamii mali ambayo tumetoka sisi kama vijana sababu sio peke yangu tuko wingi tumetoka sehemu ambayo tuko kunaishi kama wanyama kwa sitofahamu lakini kwa sasa tuna imani tushainua community especially mama zetu waishi wakiamini kuwa wa mwenzako pia ni wako kwa sababu lightning ngoja wangu waweza kunirekebisha kwa muda wote wangu alifariki tangu saa 95 si kuwa na mama lakini kwa muda huu ametokea mama from nowhere katika urafiki katika ushirikiano na ameweza kutoa kuanzia chini mpaka pamoja tumefika na tuna imani mahali pe tunaelekea tunaelekea pazuri zaidi sababu kila siku tunaona mabadiliko people see me as mama shamsa i need to give birth to 10000 mama shamsas who will operate all over the world everybody has a part to play in this the strength of the women in Kenya yes are the women sitting in here today Sometimes I just wish my parents were alive to see the successes I've paid. They went through much to make sure I get through the best. This is a huge responsibility. This award should motivate me to do more in society. Focus, focus, focus. This award is not about me. This award is for the thousands of women who are seeing hope. True happiness comes when you uplift others. That's the essence and meaning of living. This is extremely inspiring. It's really hard for me to keep my tears while watching the video. And now, before we ask our honoree, Mama Shamsa, to join us, we are going to hear from someone whose life she transformed. I'd like to invite Mr. Alfani Ali Alfani to the stage. You Highness, you Excellencies, distinguished guests, Ladies and gentlemen, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. My name is Alfani Ali Alfani from Mombasa, Kenya. I am standing before you today as a living testimony of the great work done by Mama Shamsa. She was the only strong barrier between me, my friends, and a militia group in Somalia. If it wasn't for her, we will have been long dead or still alive, but killing innocent people and doing massive destruction around the world. I say this with humility and honest before Almighty Allah, because this is the only way I can reward her for being a mother figure to me. She stood by me even when the whole world identified me as a loser. This started after I suffered searching for a job and an opportunity. It was my dream to serve my country as a soldier or join Kenya Post Authority, but all in vain. I conflicted with the law and everyone who stood to correct me. I believed I was right in everything, including the choice of violence to sustain my life and shine among other young people. Peer pressure was real. And I was in the process of joining an extremist militia group through a friend just to fulfill my dream of joining a military job. After all, it was an opportunity for me to operate weapons as it was my dream to be a soldier for my country. I remember this very day when I received an invitation to attend a community forum. I decided to join thinking I will receive an allowance to get food afterwards, only to meet Mama Shamsa the day's facilitator whose wisdom hit me. She opened her arms to hug me, and ever since, I have never missed the warmth of a mother's love. Hope to me is to build more independent and patriotic young people 
free from crime and violence. Thank you so much, Zayed Award for Human Fraternity, for honoring this noble award to my mom, Super Mama Shamsa. <laughs> Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim Alhamdulillah ala kulli hal Your Highness Your Excellencies Honored Guests Ladies and Gentlemen Good evening I thank the Almighty God and the Zayed Award for Human Fraternity for this prestigious recognition which goes to all women and youth in Kenya and globally As women we are full of circle within ourselves. And with a little help, we can create, nurture, transform, and reform. And that help comes from Zaid, Award Human Fraternity. During my journey of transforming juvenile gangs and women affected by sexual gender-based violence and terrorism, I had reached a dead end. I had lost hope. I begged, cried, and prayed for an opening or a breakthrough towards achieving my mission of giving them alternative livelihood skills. Your Highness, Your Excellencies, God answered my prayer and directed Zaid Award for Human Fraternity Committee to me. This honor is not about winning but how to live and fulfill the objectives, the mission, the core values of the award. The honor is about the continuation of the process in transforming lives from zero to 100, in being compassionate and having empathy to the less in society. This is why we work on bringing the soul of the Zaid Award for Human Fraternity to Kenya. I want people in Kenya and the whole world to know that you do not have to come to United Arab Emirates to feel the spirit of Zaid, but that the spirit of Zaid will come to you and it will touch you. This is why I promise today in front of you, this is why I promise today in front of you and beg Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to guide me to do justice to this award. Long live Zaid Award for Human Fraternity and be blessed, all of you. Thank you. Let's hear from two inspiring leaders. Cari sorelle, cari fratelli, buongiorno. Tahiyatan dayyibah li jam'iyati Santi Gidiu wa tahni'atan min al-a'maq li al-qa'imina alayha fi bahthihim al-da'im wa mundu ta'sisi al-jam'iyah an al-salam wa al-ukhuwa wa da'am hiwar al-adyani wa al-thakafat wa fadda al-niza'ati wa takhfif al-sira'at. وتحية من القلب لك أنت أيتها الأم الكريمة السيدة شمس أبو بكر فاضل على جهودك المخلصة الدائبة التي مثلت مصدر ضوء ساطع وأمل لا حدود له لأطفال بلادك وشبابهم في جمهورية كينيا دون تمييز بينهم ولا تفريق لكم يتسنى جيديو إلى سينيولا 
Shamsa Abu Kabar Fadil. Grazie tante per il vostro lavoro, per la vostra testimonianza e a tutti voi, cari e fratelli e sorelle, il mio saluto e la mia benedizione. Your Eminence and Your Holiness, thank you for your kind words. Your Highness, Your Excellencies, honored guests, ladies and gentlemen, it has been an absolute privilege to have been your host for this evening. We leave you here with much hope for humanity, for kindness, fraternal bonds, and peace. Together, we can spread the message of human fraternity and keep hope alive.